name's Cody Eddingfield. I'm 25 years old. I'm the owner, founder, and CEO of Panda Gaming. I first got into gaming at a very young age. Uh, it was more or less just an outlet to kind of get away from a lot of family problems that were going on at home. From there, you know, I got into the competitive side when I first saw the championship for Black Ops 2. So when I first really got introduced to esports and kind of really dove in and started doing some research. I played Call of Duty for a little bit competitively, but after, you know, st stepping away and going to work in school for marketing and advertisement, I just kind of set my priorities, my priorities away from playing Call of Duty. After going to school, I kind of came back around AW and, you know, kind of saw where the market was and was working with some organizations and just kind of saw the general gap within the market and kind of kind of saw an opportunity to get involved. So from there, you know, I started building my own organization, starting my own brand, and kind of really looking at it from, uh, you know, a broader business marketing aspect than I think majority of people really do. And uh, I think that's kind of where we started off and kind of really caught on with success. It's just kind of aiming to do this the right way. I know when I did play competitively, it was a struggle and a hassle and came through many problems. and. Uh, I express that a lot to a lot of players that I talk to. You know, after a few years within esports, um, I feel like the community has really kind of caught on to the brand. Uh, we've had a lot of support. I think I see this, you know, day in and day out. People reaching out to us. Um, you know, teams inquiring about potentially playing underneath the brand, and it really just kind of shows the stretch and the reach that we've gotten to now um, compared to where we started and where we first were. Is, you know, I started this organization to create opportunities for players to help them go to events because. I once was a player and it was very hard to get these opportunities. I think here in a few years, um, we'll be more than just one of those organizations on the borderline of, you know, kind of breaking through. I think we'll kind of take that next step. Definitely think that we're going to have a few teams kind of break through those gaps that we kind of had in placements and leagues, even, you know, players, businesses, everything. It's who's all really taking it serious and trying to do it in the right aspect. Kind of the same way I look at, you know, teams and players, you know, um, I'm not trying to be picky. I want to provide an opportunity for everybody, every team. But obviously, um, some people take it more seriously and some people, you know, put more time into it and are more dedicated and put more emotion into the game. Uh, and, you know, that obviously shows in placements and standings and everything else. But, you know, players that put that extra time in, just like companies and everything else, so. I think deserve to be rewarded these opportunities. Next few years, I definitely think we're gonna break through some gaps that we've had. Um, maybe break some curses that people think that we have with SND and Call of Duty. Very happy with the organization, everyone in it. We've got some of the greatest people around me that I've been able to meet within eSports, some of the most dedicated, determined. I mean, I think the biggest thing about all these people is that they, they have their heart into this eSports. And I think that's a big thing is teams, players, anything. People that really want to put their emotion into it. I mean, you see it in championships and everything else. I mean, I'm you know I'm perfectly content with the process that we have, the steps that we're taking, the direction that we're going. Um, I couldn't complain one bit. It just reminds me of just how far we came and how far we've grown. And I think, in that sense, you know, I couldn't be more appreciative of all the fans that we had. And like I said, if you're not a fan, I don't hate you. I, I don't care. I need. I need more fans for the other teams that we're competing against. <laughs> um, every esports organization needs, you know, grow their fan base and continue growing it. So do it. I mean, support esports. Uh, at the end of the day, whether you support or not, I think it helps to grow. So appreciate every view that we get on these videos. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, drop a like. Anything that you all want to see in future videos, make sure you put a comment in the box below. Uh, I'm trying to think of some more things to put in Reggie's video. <laughs> Give us a give us a quick ten second quotation inspiration deal sort of thing. Every person's defined by their limits that they set for themselves. So if you can just be willing to fail not achieving those limits, you are in a sense limitless.